Hey all of you, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we'll try to understand that which blockchain is better for you if you're an absolute beginner in terms of getting job, internship and getting yourself into the industry quickly. So there is a huge debate among the developers, mostly amongst you, because I got a lot of emails, a lot of comments in my videos, in my DMs, asking me that I'm a complete beginner. Should I have to focus on Solana or should I have to focus on Ethereum? If you don't know anything about the blockchain, then what should be your first step? To learn this particular technology so before you start learning about any blockchain first you have to know the core feature that particular blockchain provides you and what are the job opportunity you have in the industry if you take ethereum if you take solana if you take polygon what are the opportunity you will have if you will learn that particular blockchain if you talk about solana because most of you have asked me about the solana if you look at the solana environment and want to build a scalable application then solana is a great platform for you because the cost of the transaction is very less as compared to ethereum so you can able to acquire more users for your tab for your smart contract because they have to pay less for making the transaction so if you want to build a scalable application then it's a great platform where the user has to pay less money for running their smart contract for running their tab and that entire infrastructure become very important if you are building a dApp related to the DeFi or decentralized exchange where you want to have the transaction very fast and in very minimum fee so the user can use very frequently. So if you are launching a project related to the DeFi and decentralized exchange, then Solana is a great platform for you because you can easily be able to scale that. But recently, Ethereum has also adapted a lot of new features into their blockchains. And you will see that they have launched their layer 2 solution, which is totally dealing in the terms of scaling the application. So even Ethereum is also providing the same feature which Solana is providing. And even we have the Polygon, which is a side chain, which you can use to run your smart contract. So you will have the same feature. Like if you go with the Solana or if you use the layer 2 solution of Ethereum or you can use a side chain like Polygon. And they have multiple blockchains, which provide you the same infrastructure. So it's not good to say that if you really want to build a scalable application, you have to go with the Solana. Even you can do that in the Ethereum ecosystem and the side chain. The second thing and which is the most important thing in my point of view that Ethereum has been in the industry for a very long time. Solana is recently got introduced. So for you as a beginner, I would recommend you that you have to focus on those technology, those blockchain, which is well established. If you look at the Ethereum, like they have been in the industry for the very long and there is hundreds of contracts, hundreds, even thousands of contracts we have already on the Ethereum chains, which is getting used by dApps, DeFi, NFTs. We have so many contracts already on the Ethereum chain. So if you really want to get into the industry very quickly, then you have to focus on the existing technology. I would focus, I would suggest you to focus on Ethereum completely. Try to understand the ecosystem that what kind of stake model it's follow, what, are, what kind of concessions layer it's follow. If you talk about Solana, it's follow the POH proof of history. But if you talk about the Ethereum, it's follow POS. So you have to know this basic terminology, which is which you're going to use very frequently when you start working on the protocol, which you're going to start working on the DAB or building any kind of smart contract. So again, here, I, I just want to make my point of view that if you really want to learn about the blockchain and if you are interested in a specific blockchain, you can pick Ethereum as at your early stage. Once you understand everything about the Ethereum, then it would be very easy for you to take the switch in any other blockchain. And that's what I find the most compatible for you, because once you know the basic, the foundation, you can easily be able to take your skills to any industry. Even in coding, we have to learn all the time. Like earlier we were using React, now we have next years, we get some update in next years. So we have to learn constantly, we have to learn whatever new feature we are getting. And that's the same thing. Like blockchain, it started with one blockchain, which is uh, like Bitcoin, then Ethereum. And right now we have more than 40, 45 plus. So eventually the technology, the fundamental is same. Like all of these blockchains are providing extra feature to build a scalable application, even in terms of security. So I would suggest you that don't try to get confused. If you are absolute beginner or if you have a little bit experience, just focus dedicatedly to the Ethereum. Try to understand every single thing that how Ethereum work, how you can build your DAP, how you can write the smart contract, how you can interact with the Ethereum chain, how you can create forking so you can test multiple contract in your local system. Try to understand all of that. Once you master all of that, it would be very easy to take a switch to any other blockchain, even Solana for building a scalable application. It's really very highly encourage you that if you are absolute beginner, don't think about too many blockchains. 
just try to focus on Ethereum, try to learn about every single fundamental, how the architecture work, how things are happening in Ethereum system. And once you have that skill, try to build at least four to five projects. We have more projects on our channel like NFT Marketplace, Uniswap clones, like Real Estate Dab. We have token NFT Marketplace log staking platform. We have five different projects related to different industry. And that will give you the real idea. Once you master all of things, then it would be very easy for you to take the switch and go to any other blockchains. Like, like, like uh, if we talk about the Solana. So my final conclusion for you, and it's my advice. And again, you have your choice. So I would suggest you to focus on Ethereum. Learn everything about the Ethereum, spend some time, build smart contract, build project. Once you get comfortable, try to apply for the job and internship in the industry. And after that, if you want to, go, if you are interested in the Solana, definitely you can take go and you can start learning about it. So that's the only thing from my end. I hope you guys have understood that what you have to do and which blockchain you have to focus on at your early stage. And definitely things will come along your way as you start learning. So if you have any question, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. So I will try to help you and give you an answer. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.